all the initiatives taken so far, whether it is Digital India Mission, the Telecom Mission, everything has brought technology in the hands of common citizens. The growth of semiconductor industry in our, in our country will further deepen this vision. Our country first tried to start semiconductor industry about 60 years ago. This is because semiconductor is a foundational industry. Chips manufactured in semiconductor industry are used in medical instruments, mobile phones, laptops, cars, trucks, trains, televisions, practically everything that is switched on or switched off. After many attempts, finally, it was under our Prime Minister's visionary leadership that we succeeded in getting the industry to our country. Within the first phase of our mission, in a very short time frame, five semiconductor units have been approved. Construction is rapidly under progress in the Micron unit, the Morigan Tata unit construction has started, and the other three units construction will start very soon. Permitting, getting all the permissions has happened in a record time frame, which is, if you benchmark it with the rest of the world, this is indeed a new record. Talent development, friends, has been a key part of the Semiconductor India program. We have committed to, to develop a strong talent pool of 85,000 engineers and uh, technicians in the next 10 years. And we have delivered on a promise for this purpose already 113 universities, academic institutions, and R&D organizations have been tied up where semiconductor-focused course curriculum is being taught and the course curriculum has been designed by the industry participants, so that is very relevant to what the industry wants. The industry participants are also playing a crucial role in developing human resources. We have LAM Research Semiverse program, which is now running across 74 universities and is, it has already trained 2,600 students this year. The program is going to be scaled up in a massive way in the coming years. AMD has already inaugurated its first global design center in Bangalore, which is having about 5,000 engineers, and the next phase will be bigger than this.